guys got some pretty fast trucks. Not gonna yeah. lie. <laughs> and I've never seen a 5.7 car or truck or anything on a 9 make. Hit that 400 mark and that is so You get a lot, you get a good bang of torque. How's it going, guys? Good, and you? Pretty good. You get you some chocolate, too. Y'all are welcome. Thank you. Y'all take care. set up here at all team bash we got our little booth set up people rolling in as you can see it's gonna be a rattle festival today but there's a uh, there's storm there's our little booth we got going on frostbite not sure if my son's gonna make it or not we'll see but uh, here's what we got going on we got a couple pictures of the track storm and frostbite carnage we're giving out some uh, cards and information torque storm information crt catalogs another frostbite picture and we have a blower here from torque storm that we're going to display today and uh see how many people don't know what that is so let's see what happens what's up buddy man you guys got some pretty fast trucks uh -huh. <laughs> Hard about them or are you guessing? They're not that fast. They're not that fast, but they're fine. What's going on, guys? Yeah, buddy. What's up, man? What's up? Good. How about y'all? Yeah, these are. If you want to take one of those, they're cool. You can take one of those. It is my boy. My right. Not quite this one. You ever seen one of these? Yeah, I've seen a lot of. Well, I mean, I know it's a pro charger. Pro charger? What if I told you it's not a pro charger? I mean, it runs it's, on. It's similar. It runs same on. Thing, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's actually not a pro charger. It's actually a company that builds them here in America. They build everything in house. It's called Torx Charger. For a fraction of the cost of a pro charger. Yeah. You ever heard of them? Not the specific right. brand. Oh. Yes, yeah, so they make blowers for pretty much almost everything out there now. I guess, what was the driving force that made you guys go Torque Storm over one of the you other You can get one of their kits for brands. basically almost half the price of a full kit. Well, here's the biggest thing. So, like I said, they build the whole kit in, in Michigan. It's American company. They make the pulleys. They build this whole entire unit. They make all the brackets. Them, I mean, they literally build this thing in house. I've actually toured the facility. I got a video on YouTube about it, but yeah. um, I mean, it's literally, I mean, that's a cool. It's, it's super quality. That's it's not Chinese garbage. Oh, yeah. That's dense. It's, it's legit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, and the other thing to mention so, the other thing that shied me from Pro Charger 
was the, the, the base Pro Charger kits that would compare to this base unit here. Mm -hmm. They're all six whip rib pulleys. Oh, you got an eight rib on here. These yeah. come standard with an eight rib drive setup. So you get an eight rib belt, you get an eight rib pulley drive setup, and everything. Nice. Eight rib belt. So I get zero slip on this truck and that truck. Perfect. So and most of the people with right Pro Chargers, at least with Rams that I've seen, the six rib belt, they, they fight belt slip constantly and they end up having to change these pulleys that get a special coating like called Grip Tech pulleys or something right. like that. Or get it coated. Yeah. Um, or they end up having to bite the bullet and to get the eight rib drive from Pro Charger, it's almost another grain. Ouch. So that's where these are like, for the bang, you can't beat them. Right. You get a better drive setup and you, and you get quality. So. Right out of the gate, it's better. It's and cheaper. And then they have, like I said, this is their smaller unit. They have a twin kit to fit this truck, to fit your car, yeah. with two of these on both sides. So you can make over 12, 13 horsepower, 100 horsepower if you wanted to. And they come out with a bigger unit now that's compared to like an F1. The F1A, a a, yeah. Okay. And it's actually, it puts out more numbers than the F1 and it's cheaper. And, and it's 12 right now. Yeah. That's a beefy unit. How much boost are these actually capable of? So I'm making 13 on this one right now with their fastest pulley, right. which is a 3.1 pulley. Okay. This truck's running a 3.25 pulley. 325. Right. So 13 pounds. So, I'm trying to imagine roughly that what that would end up making. So, so everyone's like, oh, more boost, more boost, more power. Not, not necessarily. So boost is just a number. Right. All right. But your overall setup is what matters. Sure. You can go just as fast or faster on 10 pounds than a car on 15 pounds. I mean, it's got to hook up and put the power down. But your boost number has a lot to do with your cam, too. So if you have a big cam that overlap, yeah. you're going to bleed boost off. Right. Cool, man. But well, yeah, I mean, like I said, check them out. Um, I think got... they deserve a look, for sure. Oh. Did you guys do the installs yourselves? Yeah, so they're all, so this truck started first, obviously. It's on Facebook. Everything I started from, from the bottom to where I'm at now, literally. I got tons of videos. This truck, same thing. It's nothing to be scared of, man. That's why I like these, because they're priced, especially for the guy that can at least hold a um, air flyer in the or something. Right, capable of doing yeah, some I mean, work. they're priced friendly where you can do it in the driveway. Right? That's awesome. So, it's pretty legit. What's your name, sir? Dylan. Daniel. Nice to meet you. You too, buddy. Yes. Ryan. Ryan. Nice to meet you, sir. Daniel. I might be. It does sometimes. <laughs> I might be bringing bringing up a topic with y'all with my truck. Cause I got a Ram fourth gen. Yeah, and I want some. I want a little juice on it. There you go. Good luck with it, man. I want about 450 out of it. I've been told a uh, full bolt on his cam and tune. Yeah, you put me somewhat it. close. Yeah, you'll get that easy. Torch storm. Dude, that is cool, bro. Yeah, if you haven't heard of them, I'm good. I have not. Everybody sees it, they're like, oh, it's got a pro charger. It's not a pro charger. Same thing, but not. They, they're their own, they're their own company out of Michigan. They got kits for almost everything. This is their standard. Yeah, this is their standard unit. That's cool. You can make, depending on your setup and your cam and everything, around 800 more on this standard unit, the small one here, which is what's on both of these trucks. Uh, they build everything in house. They make the everything. I'm talking the impeller, the housing. They make their own pulleys. They make their own brackets. They make everything to go with it, except for like the belt. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That too. The other good thing over a Pro Charger or something is one, these are way more price friendly compared to the, the super name brands that's been out there forever. Now these guys ain't new. They've been out for a long time. These come eight rib out of the box. So you, it's a better bang for the buck for the money and the quality. Like I said, everything's built here in America. That's, that's, it's that's a cool, super dope bro. unit. I mean, they're yeah. nice. They're, they're every bit that's as nice cool, bro. or even machine better than some other company. Bro, I appreciate you for your time, man. Yeah, no problem, buddy. No. Hey, that's cool. They make, uh, like, they have a twin kit for this, for these trucks. They got something set up. They need to upgrade the fuel system, what you see. The rail on the side, so you upgrade the fuel system. It's got bigger injectors. This shit is awesome. They make way for that. Yeah. Yeah. Way more. Archers right there. 
Yep. Go look at a fuel cell in the back. They got kids for 